If you get in front of a client and your main selling points is price, image quality, and experience, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go on Craigslist. I want you to list your camera for sale because you're not going to make it. Today, we're going to explain why. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ty Turner over at Flash Film Academy, the only place on the web that's teaching you the business side of content creation and not just how to take dope pictures because dope pictures don't pay bills. However, business knowledge does. Make sure you guys watch it to the end. I have some exciting news about a new free course that we'll be offering. Today, we're going to talk about something as simple as your approach to making money in this industry, why you got it all wrong and how we can change that. Let's be real. Straight up cameramen are dying. And there's a reason why a high end cameraman get paid 50, 60, maybe 70,000 and a director is taking home millions. There is a little small print in the differences between the two that you should know about. Being able to properly expose a picture, being able to go there and just light it, being able to film it is no longer the commodity. It's no longer the important part of what we do. It's something that an iPhone can do without even trying. I guarantee you, if you cut on the photo mode in your iPhone or photo app, it will properly expose an image. So that skill set alone is not going to bring you money. It's not going to set you apart from your competition. It can also provide 4K, 60, it can provide very good quality, especially in sunlight or with the proper light. So if that is your big selling feature, your camera, you're not going to make it because camera phones aren't getting worse. They're getting much better and a lot faster than DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. I mean, look at how fast the image quality is improving over time. I mean, you can go back just two iPhones and see a big difference. You can't go back two mirrorless cameras and see a huge difference in quality. Often, a lot of you push image quality as your value. When I look at your portfolios and your demo reels, you're just showing really good clips and music. And that's a whole nother topic that we're gonna get into, but that isn't a selling feature anymore. Often you're mad because you have this great image quality and clients don't wanna pay for it. Because in your mind, you're providing great quality for a price. In their mind, it's not that much different from their camera phone. You need to get this cameraman mentality out of your vocabulary, out of your mind. Stop being just a cameraman and start offering solutions to problems that your clients have. Like, hey, how do I educate my viewers on who I am and what I provide? Offering that solution is way more valuable than just offering a guy to come set up a camera and light me talking. Times have changed where you're not only just the guy behind the camera, but you're the agency, you're the film crew, and you're the marketing company. And you need to go into creating content with that in mind. Don't offer your client video production service. Offer them a video production solution. Offer them a photography solution. Let me give you some examples. I recently did a video for a local college. It was for their business school. They wanted a video to help increase enrollment. That's fine. We can do that for you. We didn't just offer the ability to film what they had in mind. We went in like the subject matter experts to help them determine what works best for them. And in doing so, we developed two videos. Why? Why would we do two videos? One video was aimed at students. It was shot completely different, edited completely different. Music was different. It was completely different than the second video that went after parent. Stepping into a client's office and trying to get an understanding of their target audience and what works for their target audience makes you seem a whole lot smarter than a camera guy. It makes that five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars you want for that shoot a whole lot more worth it compared to a guy that's holding a camera that wants $2,000. Understanding that a younger audience wants faster shots, more colorful shots 
They want to hear about young people who have experienced being educated here, who like living on this campus, who enjoy being far enough from parents, but not too far from parents. They want to know the young experience of the students. That's a completely separate video. Whereas the video for adults want to hear about how safe the campus is. They want to talk money. They want to talk about what's put in place to ensure that their investment is worth it. Those are two separate videos. You can't cover that on the same video. We didn't even edit the videos the same. The young kids video was quick cuts, moving fast. The older video for adults was slower paced shots. Hold that shot longer. Wide shots, establishing shots, medium shots, then close ups. We didn't just shoot them the same. One was MTV, one was CNN. What got me the job was that every other filmmaker or videographer or company that went into there only offered video production service. They only said, yeah, we can shoot it. Yeah, we can do it. Oh, 4K, we got it. They didn't offer a solution to the problem that the client presented. And sometimes clients don't know they're presenting problems. However, if you always go to a client with the idea of offering a solution and not just video or photography, then you become a subject matter expert. And that is way more valuable than just a cameraman. Clients don't want a video. They want a solution. Stop selling them videos. Videos are played out. Clients want solutions, sell them the solution. When it comes to branding videos, ask them who's their ideal client and know that, hey, if your ideal client is men over 50, maybe we should get a female spokesperson. Maybe a female spokesperson can hold their attention a little bit longer and help explain what they have to offer. You think that don't work? You ever watch ESPN? ESPN didn't have competition 20 years ago. So old guys at a desk work. Now that there's a lot of other sports channels, you ever notice how beautiful the sports anchors are getting all of a sudden? Because guys like beautiful women. And when there's a beautiful woman on the screen and she's talking about sports, you're like, huh? I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to turn the channel to Fox because Fox got guys. But Fox got smart and they start throwing females in and it's working. Go into a meeting with the client looking for their pain points. There's a reason they're coming to you to create this video. Often they've went to their cousin or their friend or do you know somebody? They always, they go that route. They create some trash video for 200 bucks and then they call us in to finally open their wallets for some quality. If you go in there expecting the client to know everything, you're going to fail miserably. That's why it's hard giving quotes to people because they don't know. But if you go in there with the idea of let me find out what works for you. Hey, your target audience is younger. We may want to stick to a 60 second video instead of a four minute video that you have in mind. That not only works better for you, it increases your return on investment, but you spend less because we won't need to be here all day. And those are things that keep people calling you over and over again. When you can touch on that pain point and provide a solution, that's what they remember, that's what they love, and that's what they're willing to open up their wallets for. I've often explained the McDonald's theory to you. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I'm gonna explain it to you again. Who makes a burger that's worse than McDonald's? I'll wait. Nobody. Who sells more burgers than McDonald's? Nobody. Do you know why? Because McDonald's uncovers every pain point you have when it comes to purchasing a burger. And the pain point that you think is the elephant in the room of taste, burger quality is not. Your pain point is pricing, availability, consistency. Those things are more important than the taste of a burger. Believe it or not, but it's true. Even though people ask for delicious, tasty burgers, those three pain points are way more important than the taste of the burger. So even though people are asking you for a video, if you can uncover their pain point, you can sell them a solution that is worth more than just a video. It will create a lifelong client and it will create a massive amount of referrals. Go into your next shoot, understanding what they're looking for. Do some research on why a method, a style, a technique that you present 
will work with them. Get rid of the idea of pricing packages based on camera bodies. and They don't care about that. They care that you can help them with their problem. And even though they said their problem is video, I guarantee you it's not. Usually it's based on how to educate a client or an employee if it's training videos. How do we educate our employees where they grasp and hold this information? Do we do boring stuff like this? I've had clients try to take training directly out of the book and throw it on as the script and it was trash. So you have to go in with a solution that fits their problem. Often clients don't see it like this. So when you present it like this, guess who becomes the subject matter expert? Guess who looks better than the other three companies they got quotes from who just said video this price, half day rate that price. You do. And that is how you close clients. That is how you grow your business. That is how you set yourself apart from your competition. Stop being a cameraman. Every day there's a new remote control camera that can pan and tilt. You won't be around for much longer if all you offer is camera movement. You have to get out of that and become a content creator. Tell the story. Again, directors make millions, cameramen make thousands. I don't care if you're a study cam, drone, super operator, it doesn't matter. Go into your client's office with the idea to offer a complete solution. Sit down and say, hey, who's your target audience? What product are you trying to push? Why are you trying to push this product? How does it help your target audience? Where do you want this video displayed? You know, if it's on Instagram, you got 60 seconds and maybe a portrait style of shooting compared to YouTube where you can do it as long as you want. You have to know those things. And if you know those things and you offer that solution, the sky's the limit. That's how you get out of only making $500 a video. That's how you get out of only making $500 a photo shoot. You think this is important for photo? Go do headshots for a high-end company or go do headshots for a company that's selling a luxury based product. I guarantee you if you say, hey, Let's pull people away from these gray backdrops and give you more of a cinematic, shallow depth of field headshot. They'd be all for it because that headshot says money and not boring gray background. This method and technique can be used in any form or fashion for any type of content. You just have to go into it with a different mindset. Hey guys, if you've learned anything in this video let's talk in those comments hit me with the thumbs up i really appreciate you guys who were sharing the last video or two for some reason i get all the likes in the world but nobody ever shares so i appreciate your support make sure you sign up on flashfilmacademy.com we're getting ready to launch a new course five free ways to find new clients you don't want to miss this one all right guys i will see you in the next video